Welcome back to Joe's Astrology. This is an updated version of Nicola Coughlin and Luke Newton uh, of their astrology. And I did a little research and looks like their, their working relationship is over for now. And Luke seems to have a new girlfriend and Nicola seems to be more uh, involved in her work. So let's take a look. And uh, I'm going to look at the transits. I don't have the transits up here on the screen. But here's Luke's chart here on the left. Nicola's is on the right. And looking at his chart first, as we speak, Venus. Venus is down here. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but it's going to this this week it's going to be sometime around this week it's it's aspecting or it's making a contact or a conjunction with this Mars and then it's going to hit moon that's Venus the planet we look at it I'm just going to look at this as, as as a very basic simple way Venus is a more fortunate planet a planet that can represent good times and love he's got that going over his Mars and his moon it's going to be hitting his moon here soon in the next couple of weeks and we can go over here to Nicola's chart and Mars, the opposite of Venus, the planet that is more about work, effort, hard times, work. Did I say that? Yeah, I said effort. <laughs> work, effort, hard times, uh, getting things done, etc. And Mars is currently going over that moon. So it's not going to hang out there very long. It's just been there for about, we could say, it's been right about here for maybe two weeks. And it's just hit this moon as I'm doing this. And it's going to go move away for the next during the next two weeks. And the same can be said about that Venus over his moon. So from that, right from that alone, we can see he is experiencing more of these you know, if you're looking at love and relationships, he's experiencing that more. And she's really uh, focusing on what she needs to do. We can also look at the north node. The north node here in his chart is in Sagittarius. It's currently right around 10 degrees Aries. And that is also a, a more fortunate node is a more fortunate node of the moon. And that is going in the next year is going to be transiting that Venus. And then we look at her chart and the north node, the same north node is there. We can look at it as in, uh, at 10 degrees here, Aries. And that is going to be moving over her Mars. So the same thing can be said that I said about the, the Mars moon transit. And then for him, the Venus moon transit can be said about the North Node transiting his Venus and the North Node transiting her Mars. So based on that, if you're looking for them to really get back together, I highly doubt it. He also has, in the next year, uh, Neptune, the planet of dreams. Uh, you could say uh, it's the higher octave of Venus. So we're looking at romance here. We have Neptune coming across uh making a conjunction with that Venus soon. And uh, there very could be a very romantic conjunction for him. And then for her, the same thing can be said, except again, it's going over his, her uh, going over her Mars. So we can see that Mars Venus conjunction that was so that could be that can be so good for a, uh, we could say a passionate sexual relationship between a couple is now coming back to haunt them with these transits. These transits going over his Venus and her Mars, we see it's no longer, based on the natal charts, uh, the natal chart promise, if you will, it's no longer in effect in what we would say a positive way. We see these two are more likely than not going to remain separated. And uh, as I said, she will be focused more on her work. And we can see Saturn is also making, a, I think of Saturn as the plan of work, is uh, currently on her Jupiter. 
So Jupiter being another good fortune planet that brings luck and prosperity and she's getting that through work. So I haven't looked at anything else about her or him, but um, you know, it's possible that she's getting opportunities with that conjunction. We can look at Saturn, uh, Saturn in his chart. Well, before I do that, we can also see Saturn is going to make a conjunction with Mars. So that's also more uh, more descriptive of the things that I'm talking about. And then with him, Jupiter is here in Gemini. And Jupiter is going to eventually, in the next year or two, go across that Mars, which isn't, isn't the worst conjunction or transit. And I'd rather have the Jupiter-Mars conjunction than the Jupiter uh, or the Saturn-Mars conjunction that she's going to have. And then Jupiter's going to go over that moon. So more, you know, more indication that um, he may be starting a family with that Jupiter, Mars, and Cancer. Uh, he may be, you know, have marriage on his mind in the future here where, where with her it's more about work. We can also see back to that Saturn, that Saturn that's crossing over her Jupiter will be eventually in the next year or so crossing over his Mars. I'm sorry, his Venus. So we think of if that if that's going to be any indication of uh, law of of Venus type things, it could be a lot going along with the things that other things that are going on. It could be a long term relationship. It could be like I said, a marriage, Saturn Venus. So we do see them just with that alone going their separate ways. That is not what you're looking forward to. Bear. Looking forward to, unfor that could be an unfortunate turn of events for Nicola Coughlin and Luke Newton. I hope you enjoy this update. And if anyone is interested in astrology readings, I should have said this in the beginning, I'd be happy to do readings for you. I'm very affordable right now. Send me an email anytime, and I'll be happy to look into astrology for you. And have a great day.